Bye, Tukim. Kak ko yung matem. Misal na Tukim ni, hotyo ako yung hatimete tukay masita. Hotyo ako yung hatuto to matagi ko yun ay. I was born deaf. My parents found out when I was five. I did go through speech therapy. I can speak some. Hi. <laughs> like that as an example. Around 5% of the world's population is affected by some form of hearing loss. While hearing aids are helpful for some, they're ineffective or only partially effective for many deaf people. And cochlear implants are expensive and require an invasive surgery. Recently, inventors around the world have been working on new ways of letting deaf people experience sound. Something we don't remember, but all of us had to learn how to use our ears. So when we were born, our brains didn't know how to interpret all these volleys of spikes coming in. And eventually it became just the perceptual experience of hearing. And this is exactly what happens to people with the wristband. They start off saying, oh, there's something buzzing on my skin. And then after a while, they simply hear with it. Mm, baby. こちらがオンテナです。あ、あ、あ、あ。っていうように音の大きさをここのマイクが取得してで振動と光に変えるというものです。音の大きさを256段階の光と振動の強さに その何を喋ってるかの言葉までは分からないんですよね。でも音のを使うことで、まあリズムとかパターンとか音の強弱っていった音の特徴っていうのを感じることができます。アンテナが導入する前の生活なんですけども、発表機を発注してまず歩くこと
So that was a car engine starting and I could feel, I could feel the vibration on my skin of the engine. And of course, since it's mapped from low to high frequency, I feel it go up and down. I feel it spatially as well as the amplitude of it on my skin. Philip was one of our first participants when we were testing this out some years ago. And so Philip actually wore a very early prototype of this and it was very life-changing to him. They gave me an example of the first product they had and I started crying when I first used it. It was great. I was able to feel and understand so much stuff that was happening around me. I know when I have it on, I do have this connection. I feel more connected with my family. I'm able to recognize words like when they say, I love you and things like that. I'm also able to feel emotion in people's voices. And I think we should all have that. Okay, so Philip, be ready. I'm gonna play some sounds and then you yeah. see if you can identify them. I like oh. cool. knocking on the door. Very good, here we go. Oh, dog barking. Yep. Oh, that's the car horn. Oh, oh. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh yeah, that's definitely the piano. I love music. Without this, I'd have to, you know, turn up music really loud and put my hands on everything to feel the vibrations. I don't want to have to touch everything, especially with COVID. But with the wristband, I can feel everything. Antenna no controller to you mono at Rasco Kaihat stand the skedomo. The Antenna no controller to you mono to link city. Snow controller would scat. 複数の音程を同時に振動させたり光らせたりコントロールすることができるというものです。諏訪美希子です。えっと、なんか演奏するときにこれに合わせてコントローラーに合わせて演奏するようにオンテナを始めてみたときは本当にちっちゃいので本当に歌が分かりなくなって思ったんですねまあ使ってみるとやっぱりしっかりてリズムも分かりて Okay, so now we've stepped out into the road to test the wristband in the wild and to see if Philip can tell when there's a car coming down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's see if we can hear another one. Yeah. This guy is feeling a real-time feed of data the question that I've been asking as a neuroscientist is, can we actually make it so that we're picking up on different kinds of signals and experiencing a new kind of reality? We brought in a blind participant and put the vest on him, and he could tell where everybody was by feeling where people are around him. We have 70 other projects in development right now for feeding in new kinds of senses to people. So not merely substitution, but addition of senses. So for example, being able to detect infrared light or electrical fields or the movement of the stock market or Twitter sentiment or what's going on with your drone as you're flying it around. We're actually feeling the pitch yaw roll orientation and heading of your drone on your skin. Whatever you plug in, the brain will figure it out. And it turns out if you plug in new senses, as long as it's relevant, the brain will figure out what to do with those senses. All the information is sitting there, but normally we're blind to it. And it is possible to take in this kind of information and add it to our repertoire of what we consider reality.
今そのオンテナを使って耳の聞こえる人と聞こえない人が一緒に楽しめるような場を作りたいなって思ってるんですよ。で例えば、えー、とこの前は映画館とコラボレーションしてその映画の音例えば BGM に合わせて音痴がブッブッブッて振動したりとかなんかこのより臨場感が増すようなあの映画体験ができたりとかあとはあのタップダンスのイベントとかもやったんだけどタップの音と音痴をリンクさせることでよりこう楽しめたりとか。だから将来まあその何を喋ってるかみたいなものを感じたりとかあとはどういう音が出てきたりっていうのを感じることは可能かなっていうふうに思います。